Hello fam and welcome back to another video. This is our monthly family Costco grocery haul for this month and I can't wait to show you what we got. I was trying to stick to a really strict budget as you know. We also do our monthly meal plan with weekly revisions and we also inventory, check our fridge, pantry and freezer, make sure we're using up everything that we have so nothing goes to waste. And if you do want to stick to a budget, make sure you go into Costco with a list. That's a great way to save money. Get a lot of questions about the coupon book. You do not have to clip coupons, okay? You just go in there and when you check out, it comes off. Always double check your receipt and make sure, but yes, it's automatic. By the way, if you go between coupon books, always double check. They do have some random sales and it's really fun to look for those. Be careful, stay on budget, right? But just, it's fun to look. <laughs> And we're just getting back from Costco, and this is our March 2024 Costco haul. I actually went in the end of February, and if you are between coupon books, sometimes they had unadvertised deals. I actually got one unadvertised deal, which I'm really happy about. Check your Costco. They sometimes just have deals randomly, and I don't know why. Just really awesome. Now, if you do want to make sure you see those Costco coupon book videos, which we do put on the channel in advance, make sure you subscribe. And that way you can be kind of caught up in the loop of like what's on sale the next month. So if you want to see that March Costco coupon book, make sure you subscribe and set your notifications to see it really before anyone else. We do that in collaboration with Costco Insider and we get it here to you fast so you can plan and be intentional. All right. I did get some Starbucks coffee and here's the thing about Starbucks. Now, I got this Starbucks with my Fetch Rewards. If you guys aren't using Fetch, it's basically an app where you scan receipts and you earn rewards. And I basically cash out my rewards for gift cards. And as you can see, I don't normally get Starbucks, but I, I normally get Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't really like the reward system lately. I don't know, let me know what you guys prefer, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. It's really good. Mm, mm hmm mm. Delish, it's $4.99. Of course, we had to get our rotisserie chicken. And what I like to do with this is I've talked about it several times, but I like to eat it the night of. We'll have the legs, the thighs, a little bit of the breast, and then I will make fajitas the next day or chicken salad the next day. I use the entire, like all the bones and stuff for chicken stock. I know some people feel some type of way about <laughs> the rotisserie chicken, but it's still a great value and it's food. So we're not picky when it comes to just making sure our family eats and we're not hungry. So if you are on a budget, $4.99, Family, feeds a family of four and then some, usually like the next day or lunches. So, I mean, what a great deal. I actually just put up a video a couple weeks ago on three chickens, five meals. So I'll show you what I do with five of these, which is crazy because, no, three of these, five meals out of three, which you probably could even make more, honestly. But yeah, you can make a ton of different meals and anything that has chicken, you can use these rotisserie chickens for because they're already cooked, they're delicious. And just a pro tip, I will put this in my Instant Pot or my slow cooker when I come home just to kind of, you know, have it kind of simmering. As soon as I'm done with this haul, I'll do that and put it on low. And that way, either you put it in the fridge or you can put it in your crock pot. I just put it in the crock pot and then I just like, whew, just really cool. Like it's just simmering and it's nice and warm for dinner. Anywho. All right. Next item up. This was on sale in February, but they extended the sale at my Costco. Sometimes they do that. They'll extend Costco sales depending on your market. Just take a look around. Make sure you look for those sales stickers. But these are really awesome because they have no sugar. And a lot of sausages have sugar, which is crazy. This is also chicken. And so I'm going to use it for breakfasts, but I'm also going to use it for lunches. I'm going to make little wraps. I also am going to put this with a pasta and a cream sauce that I make out of cream cheese, par Parmesan, garlic, and onion. It's going to be an amazing dinner. I love that they are healthy. They're chicken. They're... You know, they're no, there's no sugar. They're Whole30 approved. And less, that just means that there's, there's really good ingredients. So if you are interested in these, take a look to see these by Amy Lou. See if they're at your Costco. Five dozen eggs, under $10, which is still a really good deal. I remember just last year, right? Eggs were just ridiculous. So I'm really happy to still get those. They don't still have the ones that I used to get back like years ago. The ones that are by Hickman's. I don't know what happened. Those those grass-fed eggs were so good, but they don't have any more. So we'll just settle for those. Still a really good deal. Uh, even better than Walmart prices. The Butterball ground turkey. I'm obsessed with this. I literally, so I go once a month to Costco. I buy this big ground beef, which I'll talk about in a second. And I buy four of these. These are a little bit bigger than one pound. They're actually one pound, like 1.7, I believe. So yeah, 1.7 pounds. And I make... 
I just make a big batch of it, one of them, which makes a huge batch, and I'll I'll make meals for days, like wraps. I'll do stir fries and oh my gosh, like meat sauce. There's just so many options, and I like that it tastes a little different, and you can kind of doctor it up a little bit different than ground beef, which I love the ground beef. By the way, Costco's ground beef, hands down, best ground beef. Even when there's a sale at my local market, I still will pay. Unfortunately, they raised the price four nineteen. A pound, but whatever. It's just so good. It's so, so good. So anyway, really good deal on this. $21.99 for four of those. I think that's a smoking deal. And then obviously ground beef. I do really love this ground beef. They have been raising the price, but it's still so good. What I do is I actually weigh it on my scale. So I do have a little kitchen scale and I'll weigh it into either four or five, depending. This is actually five, five. It's actually 6.43. So they didn't have smaller packages. So that's six pounds. I'm probably going to get, mm, I don't know. I might do like one and a quarter pounds or maybe even if I do one pound packages, I get six meals and that's plus leftovers. Cause when I say meal, I usually make a meal and a leftover because I usually, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't cook for one day. <laughs> Let me know if you're like me. I just can't cook for one day. I cook and then there's always some sort of leftover or rollover. I make meatballs. I make meat sauce. I make stir fries. I make meatloaf. I mean, there's just so many great meals you can make and they just taste so good. I love this ground beef. It's so delicious. Okay. I got some yogurt. I actually am on an antibiotic. I have an infection guys. I'm so upset about that, but I do like that. I am able to get this yogurt for such a good deal. Give myself the probiotics. There's no sugar. It's kind of not the best. It doesn't taste that great. But I do either put like a sugar-free syrup or I did get the whole earth. I haven't gotten a zero calorie sweetener in a long time. This is erythritol and monk fruit. It's $8.99. If you do a price compare on Amazon or even if you go to like a local health food store, it's really still a really good deal. This is actually, what is this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Two pounds is really big. Now it is erythritol and monk fruit and I do prefer just monk fruit, but I'll take it. I also been wanting to make cookies I haven't made cookies since before Christmas and I've been wanting to make, I make these really awesome peanut butter cookies. The peanut butter cookies are just peanut butter, monk fruit, and egg. That's it. And you just mix it, bake it, makes a dough. It's so good. So like, it's like a flour-free, sugar-free peanut butter cookie, really healthy, really delicious. And then I also make like little biscotti kind of almond flavor. Anyway, it's just butter, uh, monk fruit, and then I also use almond flour and a little bit of almond extract. So anyway, I'm really happy. I also use it in my coffee. Use it, you can use it for tea, whatever. It's a great thing to have on hand. We don't really do sugar anyway, so just to have it, it's nice. And I again, just nice to bake with. It really does bake cup for cup like sugar, so I'm really happy about that. All right, my kids are obsessed with these. I just wish that they were a little more affordable. You do get 28. I do go back and forth between the Jack Links, which has the cheese and the beef stick. No sugar in these, guys. All protein. I love putting these. I feel so good putting these in their lunch. I just wish they weren't like $17 for this bag. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. My kids like to buy lunch a couple days a week and take lunch. So we buy one per month. We make it last. And then they have a nice protein, like protein pack snack for lunch. And they also love pistachios. Yeah, my whole family loves pistachios. Now, here's the trick. I never, and I mean never get this brand. I know it's making a lot of noise, sorry. I never get this brand. I always get Kirkland, but I have footage I'm gonna insert here. <laughs> Take a look in the store. Kirkland was actually more expensive because these were on sale when I got them. So check with your local Costco and see if they're on sale. If not, Kirkland is still a really great deal. These are the salt and pepper, which they're good. I don't have to have salt and pepper. I just like the salted pistachios. These are so good also. And the yogurt. Oh, the yogurt's so good. With a little bit of the monk fruit. Ooh, healthy snack. Kids love it. Also, their hummus is $5.99. You really can't. I mean, the only issue with this is that it's big. And you have, it's really family size. And I'll tell you the reason why we got this. We are having a party, so I got this. I also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting some like celery and carrots and all that. But this huge tortilla strips, I mean, look at how big that is. It's so big. It's $5.99, and we actually like eating it with the hummus. I also do have some salsa that I got on sale at a local market. I think it was Kroger. It was on sale for like $1.49, so I have two of those in the pantry. So we're going to be snacking on tortilla chips, hummus, pistachios. I think that's pretty healthy this month. And then white linen, I have to get this. I make marinara pasta sauce at least a couple times a month. I do have a couple in my pantry still. 
But yeah, not on sale, but some of the, it's still cheaper than Rayo's and I absolutely love the way it tastes. No sugar too. I know back in the day I used to get like the cheaper pasta sauces, but I just feel so much better about the ingredients. I'm not a huge like, oh my gosh, you can't eat this. But when you can, when you can make a difference, like tomatoes, onions, olive oil, salt, garlic, basil, spices, you know, if you, if you can fit certain things in the budget, why not go for it? This is another thing we make room in the budget for. So my husband actually makes a lot of what's called rice and peas from his, um, that's something he made, he made growing up in his family. And they keep raising the price of this. $10.99 for six. It's not the cheapest. You can get this in another place. I'm sure these are cheaper places like Walmart, but we just happen to get them. I do like when they're on sale. I'll usually stock up, which is why I don't see them in my halls very much. I'll either get them somewhere where they're cheaper or, you know, I'll wait for them to go on sale and then I won't buy them for a really long time. But they're really, really good. Also, it's a great non-dairy alternative. So if you like coconut milk, these are really good. And last but not least, we got the baby spinach. Still $3.99, I think, which is just crazy. Crazy for 16 ounces. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So if you do have this or it's probably a different brand, get it. Don't hesitate. That's everything we got from Costco this month. Let me know what you guys are going to get. And let me know if you guys are subscribed. Put subscribe down in the comments and let me know so you guys can come back to see the Costco coupon book. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. I wanted to share with you a quick Chalk Zero purchase that I just made. So a little Chalk Zero haul for you. I do have a discount code and I, I absolutely love that I can share that with you guys. I've been eating this for about five years. I don't get a discount, but if you guys purchase, you get a discount and I get a little bit of a kickback and I do appreciate that, but you don't have to. I just want to share this because I'm obsessed with Chalk Zero. I did get chocolate milk, milk chocolate orange, 50% cocoa, dark chocolate squares, and then I got two jams and the new Rhea, Rhea, Rhea candy bars. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so the orange chocolate tastes, literally tastes like those little orange chocolate candies I used to have growing up. My dad used to get them for us. And then the, I also love the fact that they have the marmalade. I dipped the dark chocolate in the marmalade. Oh, so good. If you are low carb or keto, the marmalade and the jelly, the strawberry jelly tastes just like the regular so you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like you used to and then these Rhea bars oh my gosh they're so good guys oh my gosh by the time you're watching this video these are already gone <laughs> i don't even know if they're in stock i got them as soon as they dropped them they taste like snickers i'm not even kidding they're gluten-free keto free they're keto and they're soy free they have caramel peanuts and nougat and even my kids say they taste a lot like snickers because the nougat and the caramel is on point plus with those peanuts so delicious so if you do want to grab this Go ahead and use the discount code free to family at, at checkout and it'll save you. But again, I use my own money to buy this hands down. One of my absolute favorite chocolates and I don't pretty much eat anything else. It's low carb, it's keto, it's sugar free and they use monk fruit. So definitely go ahead, use the link below or the code free to family at checkout to save. And don't forget to take advantage of these offers and great ways to earn more money. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 bonus when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Just use the app or the Chrome extension. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive a $10 bonus when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code on the screen or the referral link in the description box below. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt and you will get 2,000 points equal to $2 in rewards just for signing up with this referral code on the screen. Seriously, don't miss out on any of these offers and amazing ways to make extra money. You can also earn more money by referring your own friends and family. So get started today.